This feels like the future. Wearing a visor, digital images suspended in midair right within reach. It's the stuff of science fiction. Movies like Iron Man and Minority Report show off floating visualizations in a realistic manner. But how close are we really? Enter Microsoft's HoloLens 2 headset. This isn't the first time around the block from Microsoft. They released the first HoloLens back in 2016, and today's version is priced at a cool $3,500. So who's gonna buy this thing? For folks like myself even, we're information workers, right? We sit behind a desk, we have the luxury of technology, desktops, laptops, always with us. Uh, a lot of what we call these first line workers are people who use their uh, hands, they're out there in the field actually building things, maintaining things, uh, getting work done uh, in the field. And for those folks, they can't lug around a desktop with them, right? They need the information with them when they're actually in the places of their work. We also got a look at how Italian furniture company Natuzzi is using the headsets to help salespeople visualize living rooms for their customers on the showroom floor, even changing the color of a sofa in real time. Then, Spatial let me go eyes on with their software that aims to make video conferences a thing of the past. Imagine if Zoom and Slack had a holographic baby. Uh, instead of having uh, video conferences where you have 10 people in 10 different grid windows, you can now feel like the Jedi Council or, or Kingsmen where you all can feel like you're in the same room. So I asked Anand, what companies are going in on this vision? The this exciting thing is it's across every category. It's, it's um, you know, consumer product goods, oil and gas, financial services, um, you know, healthcare. Some customers we've announced are Mattel, uh, a world-leading toy company. They collaborate on 3D models. Um, Ford, you know, using Spatial to look at um, uh, 3D car design and, and evaluate that. So, like we heard from Charlie, there's a lot of industrial applications right now. But Anand's thinking that long term, that won't be the case. Our goal is to eventually eliminate business travel so you can just have, you know, have these meetings that you would have otherwise locally. The sci-fi future we were promised may not quite be ready for consumers just yet. But that's fine. It'll give you more time to work on my AR High Five.